if you didn't already know I'm a different breed In my own lane and I'm in a different league When they hear me spit, they don't try to bother killing another beat Cause I'm built so differently Rappers been the A game when they spit with me Better tell them ain't a single bit of quit in me I been switching gears, hitting different speeds I don't really bark, you'll get bit with me Yo, what is happening guys? I'm back with another reaction And this time we'll be reacting to the new trailer For Marvel Studios Moon Knight uh, Coming on Disney Plus March 30th so I'm. This was one of the Marvel shows series that I was super excited for. Um, I know. I know this year we're getting She-Hulk, Moon Knight. I'm pretty sure Miss Marvel. I know Echo has her own series coming out because of Hawkeye and stuff. Yeah, when the Marvel announced that slate they had of upcoming shows and movies, this was one that caught my attention. Just because I know a little bit about Moon Knight, but not too much. I know he's like um, Marvel's Batman. I mean, I guess you could say like. Iron Man and Black Panther are also Marvel's Batman. But yeah, I know he's like um, good. Uh, he's very combative, uh, detective skills, real stealthy, stuff like that. Um, but yeah, that's all. That's all I know. So, being a big Marvel head, I'm excited. Anything they put out is fire to me. Anything they put out is they like automatic. I'll, I'm on it. So I'm either watching it or in the theater like at day one so yeah um like i said i don't know too, i don't know too much about moon knight i just know that um ethan hawk is in this i know that um the actor i don't know his name but he was i believe in dune and then I, i'm pretty sure he was apocalypse in x-men apocalypse so that's pretty cool if he got casted to play two marvel characters but um yeah without making this intro too long we're just gonna get right into it like this video Comment down below, subscribe, and let's see how Marvel's kicking off 2022. Hello, and welcome to Staying Awake. Some sitting disorder. I can't tell the difference between my waking eyes and dreams. Hello, and welcome to Staying Awake. Hello, and welcome to Staying Awake. Is that so he doesn't hurt himself? Kid Cuddy. We'll catch you on. You're bloody useless. Stevie. Steven. <laughs> I can't tell the difference between eyes and dreams. dreams. <gasps> Thank you. Lost the contact lens. Hope you find it. Oh, I got chills. That was creepy. Some night of hours, court of hours type stuff. Yeah. Oh my god, you're alive. What's wrong with you, Mark? Why did you call me Mark? Hey, get the knock. Yo, this is like literally crazy. Embrace the chaos. <laughs> what is he hitting us? Fate? Oh, the <laughs> Batman shot. Yo, hey man, <laughs> yo, that looks so good. Um, oh, I don't even know what to say. I, I literally got chills. Like, it, it gives off that um, like psychological horror mystery, creepy thriller, suspenseful vibe. And um, so it seems like. Um, I'm just gonna guess like the direction that they show's gonna take is uh, Moon Knight either has like powers, abilities, or even I would say like another personality or persona that he like can tap into that he doesn't yet have control over. He not even he's not even aware of what it is or obviously because he's a f he's like scared of it and super like skittish. But obviously because he's a hero, he's gonna learn how to like channel that to do good you know 
And I don't know who Ethan Hawke is to him, but his character, who his character is, if he's gonna like be his mentor kind of through this thing. But um, I'm sold, man. I like those kind of like, I, I know Marvel's taking like a different direction. Like they're trying to get more, not necessarily dark, but like, you know, like more horror. I mean, as far as we know, like that's kind of what they're shooting at for Doctor Strange 2, just to give those kind of vibes. And this is a good, you know, follow up or set up for those kinds of, you know, fields in terms of shows. So, I mean, it looks good. I can't wait. I'm definitely going to be reacting to that. Um, maybe my sister, my girlfriend, if they want to jump into. But I know I will for sure. Anything Marvel, like I said, I'm, I'm in there. Um, but yeah, the cinematography looks good. Like that last shot after the credits where he's like jumping down during nighttime, like from building to building, that like, that's a straight up Batman shot right there, like with the cape following him, like that was fire. Um, yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited. Everything Marvel puts out, I'm there, I'm with it. Last year, Marvel blessed us with a lot of great content. Obviously a lot of good movies and a lot of good shows too. All, you know, all of them, WandaVision, uh, Falcon and Winter Soldier, What If, Loki, and then Hawkeye, <laughs> all solid. So, I think it's so smart too um, that they're doing these shows. It's like, it like keeps audiences fed in between movies. You know what I'm saying? Like, and it, it allows them to do other kinds of storytelling that they wouldn't have time to do in a two-hour movie. They can introduce more people, give more backstory, give more context to things. That way, when it's time to hit the movies and you integrate these char these characters, like you don't have to spend five ten minutes telling us who they are. We already met them in the show. So I think that's really smart of them. And then, like I said, um, and like, like as we know with Valentina and stuff, like these characters can jump from show to show, show to movie, movie to show. So I wonder if we're gonna see any um, repeating characters from movies or shows in here. Like maybe like I don't know, like Valentina or uh, the power power broker, Sharon, power breaker, power broker. <clears throat> yeah. But yeah, thank you guys for watching this reaction. I'm excited for the show. I definitely will be on it weekly, reacting to it. Um, yeah, like this video, comment down below, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think of the trailer, what you guys think of Moon Knight as a character, what you're anticipating. Let me know like if there's any other Marvel characters you'd like to see finally have some screen time, whether it's the big screen or a show. For me personally, I would love to see Red Hulk finally. You know, we've seen Ross in all these movies, but like just for Red Hulk to finally come out, I think that'd be sick. Hopefully we get him if Mark Ruffalo has a solo movie or something, that'd be dope. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching this reaction. I'll see you guys on episode one of Moon Knight. And uh, yeah, appreciate it. Check out my music, check out my podcast, check out all the other reactions down below. And aloha, God bless, easy, thank you.